Hiya folks, welcome back to another of one of our videos. I hope you enjoyed our Whitby video show. I did. A lot of people did, we enjoyed it, we had a lovely time. I've come back and I've now got a cold or chesty cold or whatever in the head. I got it off a baby Frank show, didn't I? Not outdoor cooking. <laughs> no, it was nothing to do with the outdoor cooking. I caught it off a of baby Frank because baby Frank's got it. Anyway, what are we having today, Sharon? We're having 30 day matured British beef top rump roasting joint, which I got from Tesco's when it was in the sale. Right, let's have a look here. Put it on table, baby. Now, we don't normally get beef uh, from uh, Tesco's, so we go to our butchers, as you well yeah. know. But you got this because this was in the sale. It was £10.82 instead of £21.68. And you will see the date, the 28th of December. Because it's been I frozen. I took it out of the freezer yeah. and forged it out. So it's 30 day matured. Now, as I say, we're giving this a test. 30 day top rump roasting joint. Now are you going to be cooking that, Sharon? I'm going to be putting it in my little kasuri and I'm going to be using it on the meat and poultry setting. Right, okay. So that's what you're doing with that. But yeah. before you do that, you're going to do some um, in pre here, work. In here, you can come over the top, you'll see better then. I've got some carrots, swedes, turnips, potatoes, and parsnips in there. Yeah, that's root vegetables. Yep. I won't be having no. that, but that's for you and Frank and Jimmy and Charlotte. Jimmy and Charlotte. So okay. I'm going to parboil that for about four minutes, so right. just get some water. Right, so you're going to put some water in there. How much are you putting in there, baby? About 225 going in. So just whack that in. And these are so simple to use, folks. Lid on. Now, you've got low and high pressure there, so it's on for seven minutes at the moment, shall Yeah, so we're going to reduce that. To down four. to four minutes so we've got high pressure she's taken off the keep warm function and just literally press the start button that's it and then after that's done we're going to put the beef in and while the beef's been sliced and set in resting not setting setting resting, baby i will then put the veggies on and right so produce. how are you going to finish the beef off well i'm going to see where it comes out like if it does need to go in the air fryer or not it might not Right, so is there any fat on that beef? Not There's really. not a lot, no, is there? No, no. So true. it's not as if you've got like um, a ribber beef or anything no. like that. So there's not much fat on that at all. It's quite a lean cut by the looks See, of it, See, I Sharon. never buy this as a rule. I always I like rolled rib or yeah. rib where there's plenty of fat. And as far as time goes for putting it on, what are you going to go I'm for? I'll try 50 minutes. 50 is quite a long time, isn't it? But yeah, it is quite but a it's thick a joint. Bit of, it's a joint to me. It is it? quite a thick bit, isn't yeah. it? So that's going to go into the. Pressure cooker on the steam roast well, setting, is that right? pressure, but I'm not actually pressing the pressure button. Right. I'm pressing the meat the and meat poultry, poultry button. The meat and poultry button, folks, if you can see that there. So we'll see what happens yeah. anyway. We've never used it before. I'm like, well, I tried it yesterday. I've done a joint of pork in it, and I put this pork on for an hour. And, and that it, did have a, a, a... It was done to perfection. It really. had a, 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 skin the, a skin on it, so you finished then it I off. Then I put it in my little oven there on 220, and that had... About 20 minutes, that was on a high set, and it did give us crackling, because yeah. that's what I put it in there for. But the meat was done lovely and tender. Yeah, and that was on that setting you're talking yeah. about. And uh, that's what we're going to basically be doing, but we may not have to put it into the um, the little oven just to crack all the top off, because there's no rind on no, it, Sharon. No. We're having green veg with it as well, that's what I'll yeah, be Yeah, that's all here. Already prepared. That's your cabbage, 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 broccoli, brussels, and leek. All the same stuff we normally have, yeah. and I'll be having that. And I'll also be having that with gravy. I'll tell you, that leek just comes out and adds that bit more flavour to that. I, yeah. It's a bit bland without the leek, really, but yeah. it's very, oh, it is a tasty. And you're yeah. going to be making the gravy with the leftover juices, liquor, which I'll is be, the meat juices from that. I am putting some meat in there with that. Yep. And I might even keep that juices that are in there from the meat with the veg. Yeah, no and matter, does it? that so then, you know, all Just the top it up meats, with water. Yeah. See, all the water's combined there. Yeah, the which ju is well, juices, really, isn't it? Which is what happens anyway. So that's yeah. what we'll be doing there. Merlin can smell that meat, can't you, Merlin? Yeah, we'll move it out of Merlin's way. Get it out of Merlin's way. So, yeah, there we go, folks. We'll let them pre-boil, parboil rather, in there. You'll then give them a bit of a shake-up, salt and pepper. Yeah, them. just leave them on the side to dry off. And then they're going to be going in the air fryer. Yeah, yeah that one. Yeah. Can we say thank you to a few people? Yeah, we can. We've we got here. a few thanks to say, wait people. There. Wait there. Wait I'll, there. You wait there. You I'll, wait there. I'll wait here. Because you don't know. Of course I don't. Right, what you got here, baby? All things that I put on my wish list, rubber gloves, always handy. This is from Stephanie and Owen McCourt from Northern Ireland. We absolutely love your channel and hope to bring our camper van to England in the summer where we'll visit the Ragged Apron. Happy days. Enjoy your gift from Stephanie Ferguson. So remember, Ragged Apron, sign the book, get your sticker, and who knows, we could be there. We may be there, who knows. Thank you very much, you two. That's also, great. Thanks very much indeed. A gift, a gift from Debbie North from for the boys. Enjoy your gift. I love watching your channel, Debbie North. Thank this you, Debbie. Gift wrapped for me 
There we go, look, from Debbie North there. Thank you, Debbie. Wait for it. There we go. They're, they're both not, they're actually both here. They're here, look, you can see one there, Shao. Look, he's there, look. Dougal's the other side. Oh, hello. What's oh, this? They do like, there's What's Dougal, this? look. There's Dougal. I gave Dougal a groom yesterday with me groomer. Yeah, we love that groomer, don't we? Yeah. Right, what gonna, is it? You're going to give him one or what? Well, yeah, Debbie's got to see him having one of her presents. Yeah, look at Dougal waiting patiently over there, Sharon, look. What's this? Sit. You've got to say... Merlin, sit. Go, go. Thank you, Debbie. Good boy. It's from Debbie. Stay, stay. Merlin, no, down. down. Sit. Get it's down. Get down. It's too much Merlin, for me. Merlin, sit down. Down. Sit. Sit down. Sit him down, Sharon. Sit down. Sit. Sit. You think they never asked Sit. Him, Tell him to sit, Sharon. Hang on, let me get it over first. Stay. Sit. Oh, my God, the excited faces. Go, go on, away. off you go. Go away and enjoy. Off you go. So, thank you, Debbie. Yeah, you guys thanks, Debbie. Appreciate these. And See how grateful they are, my dogs. They love them. Is. Here we go. That's the four minutes up shout, and they're pung boiled now. Yeah, they're nice and soft. Look how quick they boil, folks. Look. Look at that, look. Now they're ready to go into the uh, air fry. Once Sharon does a bit of savoury seasoning on them, Sharon, put a bit of oil on them. Yeah, and I'm going to sprinkle um, Oxo Cube over the steaks. We've got beef. Of course you have. Look at that. So Sharon's just getting them out. We will tip that water out because uh, that's only potato water. When we put the cabbage in and the, the veg and all that, we're going to leave the uh, meat juices in there because you're going to be cooking the meat next. Is that right? Yep, we're going to bang the meat in in a minute. Just going to empty this out, this water. Right, so she's unpacked the, um, the meat. As you can see, there it is there, folks. Now, although that was £10, that was half the price it was, Shell, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it should have been £21.63. Yeah. Now, when you think of, Shell, when you go to a, 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 a place to eat out, to get a roast dinner now, you can pay 18 to 20 pounds yeah. just for one dinner. You're going to get four or five dinners out of that, aren't you? Yeah, so five, that's, five for sure. Yeah, so at 10 pounds, folks, we took a chance. Now you're just putting in a drop of um, clean water in there. You're going to put the trivet in. And you'll be sitting that on top of the but, trivet. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So you wash your hands first. And you're going to put this on for about 55 minutes, you say? 50, yeah. So 50. putting the lid on, people. Come around the front here. You're going yeah. to hit the uh, meat and poultry option. Oh, that's what I had my last bit on. So you're taking that just down to 55 minutes. 50, love. 50 minutes, rather. Uh, it's on high pressure. And it's taken off the keep wall, and you're just going to press the start button. Yeah. There you go. So that's that setting, folks. If you've never tried that setting, you did it the other day, and you were happy with it, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I wanted to try. I liked Stu like to try before I show you, yeah. and that worked out fine on me joint of pork. Right, so now let's go over to our roasters, which, as you say, have been um, parboiled now. You're just going to get an oxo cube. Yeah, and some oil. I'll get you the oil. There you go. We're using olive oil in that. You can use beef dripping. Yeah, I have got beef dripping, which I use for the Yorkshires yeah. and the roasters. But um, you're going to crumble oh. that over the top. Drop of olive oil, just sprinkle that over. Make sure you put plenty on, folks, because that's what gives it the um, the good crust on the top. Just sprinkle on the uh, oxo cube and give them a good toss or spin over. I say you want them to get uh, well done with it. So you're not going to bother with salt and pepper then, because there's enough seasoning in yeah, that, I think, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. There you go. So that's what we've got there, people. And I go on just before the meat's done, about five, ten minutes before the meat. Cause then, right. No, about five minutes when the meat comes to an end. Then we'll get the meat out, rest the meat, and put the vegetables on and the roast potatoes and the Yorkshire puddings. Right, okay then. Right, back in the kitchen now. What have we got here now, Shia? They're all ready to go now. Yeah, now you've had some hot oil in there, haven't you? Lard. A bit of lard in there, folks, and she's just going to give them a little bit of agitation. That's been on just preheating that oil, yeah. so... Um, they're well coated now. They're going back in the Kasori Turbo Blaze for 220 degrees. And she's just taking out the 16 minutes. Now, that may or may not be gospel, will it? It's turning. No, it'd be turning. Now, I'm going to put this on as well right, to preheat. That's to preheat. Okay. And that's going to be for... Yorkshire's. The Yorkshire puddings, which you've already battered up. Meat's got two minutes left, so we'll be getting that out in a minute. Right. Now, as I say, we haven't, you can't peek in the pressure cooker, can you? No. So that's got two minutes to go, folks. Okay, so a lot of people ask why we make our Yorkshire puddings at the moment out of arrowroot. Well, arrowroot has got a low GI. It depends on what you read on Google. If you go to the first page of Google and type in 
Arrowroot GI comes up 14. And then if you go again and look somewhere else on Google, it says it's got 70 uh, or 80 uh, GI glycemic index. Now what you want is a lower number. So depends on where you do your research, folks. Depends on what answer you're going to get. We've done a bit more research into it, and apparently that um, it is good for diabetics and people like that, the uh, lower GI, than plain flour, which is up to an 80 GI glycemic index. So we're happy with our research. You obviously do your own research and find out exactly what you think, but that's our reason for using the uh, arrowroot. Can use almond flour, again, another one on the low glycemic index, but we haven't, we haven't tried that. Coconut flour is another good uh, flour to make GI or low GI bread with and stuff like that. So again, do experiment. We have got some keto uh, bread on our channel in, a, in, our, uh, in the playlist I've got there, so do check them out as well. Right, okay, let's wait for this meat to finish. There we go. Oh, there we go. So we're gonna just literally manually vent that. That was quick. Yeah, what was that then? Right, okay, here we go. Now we haven't seen that, folks. There we go. So we're gonna just stick that probe in there. Now we've got all the meat juices in there as well, people. So I'm just gonna push that into the middle. And we're gonna see what the temperature is on this now. So we're hoping it's gonna be up around the 70 mark, maybe. Looks like it's going up a bit slow, shall it? It is, doesn't it? Right, oh. so that's only 35, so that's not good enough. How long has that been on for? 50 minutes. Right, I'm going to do it in pressure cook now. And as you can see, look, so you just press that. That's just on the meat setting. Now, you did that with a pork yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, and it worked fine and it had 20 minutes. But it's different meat, isn't it? Yeah, so we're going to put that on pressure cook now. And that's going to go on for maybe 20 minutes. I'll probably 15, all right. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever. Right, so we've got that on high pressure. Now I better stop me potatoes. So, as I say, that wasn't on pressure cook, was it? That was probably like a steam roast sort of um, setting, I would yeah, imagine. Perhaps the pork was smaller. I didn't know the weight of the Yeah, pork. that's quite a big, big, big bit of meat we got there, isn't it? So, there you go, folks. We're learning at the same time. We've put quite a big bit of meat on. We didn't put it on pressure cook. That wasn't on the pressure cook, although there was a bit of pressure build up in there, as you saw. Normally, with the pressure cook, you get that jet come out for about a minute. So, that only was jetted out for a little bit, wasn't it? Yeah. So. That's something you want to take into consideration if you do try that. Anyway, we'll come back when that's done, it's 20 minutes cooking, and then we'll take it from there and see how it's done pressure cooking. Right, that's just finished this time, shall? And as you can see, now we've had it on pressure, we've got more of a vent there, so uh, we're hoping it's hoping. going to be cooked, shall? Yeah, because I left my potatoes and I thought I turned them on and I didn't. Oh, did you? Yeah. Here we go, so that little pip's gone down. Now let's have a look at this now. There we go. Hold on, let's come around there, shut. Right, let's see what that says in the middle. In with a probe, that's why you probe your friend, people. Work, zoom up to 40, 42, 46, 48. So it's gone up to 49. Let's just there's try. There's still blood there, look. And there's still oh, blood that's coming out there. Yeah. So, yeah, you're going to have to get your size of your joints for the correct time, people. So at the ends, it's cooked a lot more. So that's gonna have to go on again, isn't it? What we do, which we're gonna do now. Take it out. Take it out and slice it. And slice put it, in the it air up fryer. and then whack it in the air fryer. So everything else is done. Yeah. That just means people that we, we, we did try we something mistakes. new. And we do make mistakes, we're only human, but at the end of the day, there are ways around it. Because everything else is ready, we're gonna improvise, take it out, slice it up, put it in the air fryer and just to finish off. But as I say, Ideally, with hindsight now, we would have put that on pressure cook for 50 minutes yeah. and that would have been fine. So we just tried that, what we done with the pork yesterday and it didn't work with the size of joint we got here now. So yes, if yours isn't cooked, it's probably because of your size of joint. Well, I'm gonna slice that up and then we'll put it in the air fryer. While we're doing that. Let's get that out. Sharon's gonna leave that stock in there. Yeah, get the trivet out. It's gonna get the trivet out, watch this. So all them meat juices in there, we're gonna be using them. And that's gonna be the cooking juice for our veg. Right, just add a bit more water, because it's yep. as I've say, as you know. Yep, so we're just topping a bit more water in there, because that's gonna be our gravy, as you know. So all that veg now goes in. Don't waste none of that, baby, eh? Oh, no. There we go. And that's gonna go on for? Seven minutes. Seven minutes, but you're not too bothered about it yet, or? No, actually no, because let's get this cut Let's get that sliced, sliced up then. 
And we'll have a little look at that, folks. Now it's going to be sliced. And let's just start to slice that, just to see what it's like inside. For some people, yeah, that, that's all right, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so we don't like it like that. Well, it's going to get pinker as you go on. Yeah, it will get Try pinker. Try a bit, though. See if it's tender. Yeah, look. It's a bit dark here, I know. But... In fact, let's put that under the light. Right, okay. Now, I'm just going to take a quick look at them, shall Them uh, potatoes and carrots and stuff. And they're done now, aren't they? Yeah. And as you can see, folks, look, that's the roasted carrots, potatoes and turnips in there. And they look absolutely lovely. So, yeah, you're right. Some people would love it like this, which is fine, but not for us. Although that does look pretty good there, Shao, doesn't it? But in the fact, middle... Jimmy would love it like that. The in middle, fact, I think you'll find it's going to be a lot rarer. I'm going to leave Jimmy's out because he likes his meat like that. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit too rare for us. Let's just cut that uh, bit of string off there. Yeah, it's getting rarer the more we go into it there, people. So we like our beef well cooked, Shao, don't we? Yeah. In fact, I will put that on. Are we going to use that to go into that container there? Yeah. Don't yeah. put it in yet because I'm still cleaning it out. I'll take well, no, it. Well, mad, is it? I just want to get all the potato bits out. Then I'll, oh, I'll okay. put it, yeah. And a lot of people say that's not blood, that's plasma, by the way. Yeah, there we go. Look, that's, that's in the middle now, people. Look. Well, I don't want the plasma then. It's, it's okay for some people, but not for us. Yeah. Let's make wipe. a lovely mess there. I will be cleaning that up right now, Sharon. All that plasma. Yeah, get that bit <laughs> off and I'll just dab it. I'm going to put that on Jimmy's plate, that one. There we go. Some people might like it, but we don't, do we? And that bit, Sharon, is Chef Perks. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Is it? Mm. I'll put it on 195 for 10 minutes, just letting it go, and I should turn it in a minute. After five minutes, you turn it over. Got the veg on now, and I'm just warming up the Yorkshire pudding oven. Right, here we go. Yorkshire pudding mix going in. into the hot oil. You can see it bubbling there, people. Oh, yeah, well, that's a big one. Well, you're not having one, are you? So... Yeah. Ooh. There you go. Every time that happens to me. Just put that back in there, baby. And on for 205. We're reducing that. To about 13 minutes. Yeah. There you go. There, in. it's all starting to come together now, Sharon. After my disaster with the beef. Well, it's not a disaster really, Sharon, is it? Well, to me it is. Yeah. As I say, we tried something new with a different setting. Uh, it worked yesterday for the pork, but not Yeah, it worked for me steam fry and the um, ninja, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, different tools used different But see, time. it doesn't say nothing really about that in the book. No. These functions and no. times. No. But after all, you can't beat the pressure cook function, can you? No, I love it. I still yeah. love it. Yeah. All right, what are we up to, baby? Uh, just keeping the meat warm and just getting Frank's out to cut his. Right, chop me little baby Frank's up. And uh, that's on. Coming over to the Yorkshire puddings. They've got seven minutes left. And as you can see, folks, they're coming up nicely now. Right, we've got six minutes left on the veg. The dogs are waiting to be fed as well, Sharon. Yeah, they have our gravy as well. Yeah. And uh, that's it for the moment. There we go. That's how we like our beef, folks. Look at that. Still slightly a little bit of pink in the middle there, which is absolutely fine. Sharon likes her as well done, so she can I choose a few. I just don't like seeing any, what's it called? Plasma. That's it. Plasma. There we go. Membrane. Yeah, look, just a little bit of blushy in the middle, folks. I think you'll find that's acceptable. Just mashed up all baby Frank's meat and uh, little potatoes in there. And there's the roast vegetables. Look at them roast vegetables, folks. Look at that, look. How good do they look? That's how, actually, I like my roasty veggies. Yeah, a bit burnt on the edges, which is yeah. lovely, isn't it? And that's my one over here. They look done, shall Yeah. Look at them beebles, look. Look at that big one at the back there, look. You be careful. I haven't got one, folks. Let's just have a look at that big one there sticking out there. Look at that, look. <laughs> look at that shell. That's a corker. There you go. Where's I'll your... have that one. You'll have that one. Put that on your plate, Sharon. Look, it's got your name written all over it, look. 
Baby Frank's got one, has he? Yes, he has. A bit hot. Yep, none for me. So that can go for little baby Frank over there. I'll cut that up in a second. Right, we've got one minute to go on the veg. And then it's a matter of draining, making the gravy. We've already got the gravy granules over there, folks. The Bisto gravy granules. And yet, hopefully, Sharon, another super roast dinner. Hopefully. There we go. There's our veg. Look at that, look. All cooked, even Brussels. I can't, even, I can't believe how it does Brussels sprouts in that short time, Sharon. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Don't forget our cooking liquor's now going to be made. Still calling it that, Calling yeah. it cooking liquor, our juice, rather. There we go. Keep going, baby. Let's put the there and I'll tip it a bit more. Yeah, get a little plate, yeah. A little trick I taught you. Nah. No. You burnt your hand. Oh, you see, I didn't have the gloves on, did I? This is bigger. All right, okay. Go on in. Whack it in. There you go. That's what you want. Now keep it low down. Otherwise, you get them coming out. Perfect, Sharon. See, I've taught you that, haven't I? I taught you that. Taught me now. Now you're going to get your big... Um, Where's your big spoon, baby, for stirring? Well, they always are, love. Oh, I've, got it, I've got it here. Oh, you said big spoon. Ah, well, never mind. There we go. Let's get that all mixed up. I'm helping out, Shell. I'm taking part. There's a bad veg. She can dish that up while I uh, keep stirring the gravy. Superb. Look at that, look. Gravy's lovely and thick, which we do like. And that will be full of flavour, won't it, Sharon? Oh, yes. Baby Frank. Yep, get Baby Frank's on there. Okay. Baby Frank's going to have some of that. I'll chop all that up and pour some gravy on for him while you're doing that. My baby Jimmy. Hold on, shout. Let's, get baby, Fra Let's get baby Frank on there like that, look. Do you want Jimmy to cover Jimmy's up? Uh, he likes it only put a bit on his meat and veg, not on the Yorkshire's. He's like his mother. He's he like don't like a lot of gravy. Funny, eh? No. Beautiful. There we go. Our baby, our baby Charlotte. Little Charlotte, yeah. Let's put some gravy on there for Charlotte. She don't mind it. She'll have it everywhere, she Yep. All over there like that. Look. Can't beat a thick gravy, people. Look at that. Right, let's do yours, Sharon. Get that gravy. You want it over the veg and meat, yeah? Yeah. There you go. Put on her potatoes, look at that, look. No potatoes there, mate. Swedes and turnips. Well, Swedes and turnips, I meant not potato. And there oh, we go. Oh, blimey, I have to make some more gravy. And that's more. Why? I'm the last one, Sharon. No, you're not. The dogs. The dogs always have gravy. Oh, well, that's, they've got their own gravy, haven't no, they? No, they have ours on a Sunday. Do they? Not today, they don't. Just say, Will, stop. It's going to overflow. No. That's not going to overflow, baby. Have about that, people. Let's have a little look at these close up. Look at that, look. Poor baby Two. doggies. Mummy, sort you out. Well, there we go, folks. Four lovely roasts, plus baby Frank as well. Roast beef. Uh, we was a little bit unorthodox in the way we cooked it, but at the yeah. end of the day, we got there. Just shows you have to play about with your times. And having that temperature probe is a great thing because you can see exactly what's going on inside your meat as well. Yeah. So that joint of beef cost us £10. We bought that before Christmas. It's been in the freezer. Should have been £21. But even so, a roast like this in a fancy restaurant shell would be about £21 anyway. Well, there you and go. you've got five of us being eaten here. Or yeah. five of us eating here, Sharon. Anyway, we're going to get on with it, folks. We're going to enjoy this now. We've had a little taste test along the way, and that meat was superb. Superb. So we're going to go it's now. It's a taste sensation. Thank you very much, baby. It is a taste sensation. We'll see you in the next video, folks. And until then, bye for now. Bye.